All right, what's up guys? It's CodeBra from codingwithcodebra.com and today I'm gonna come at you guys with a pretty simple tutorial, a Swift tutorial. All we're gonna do, we're gonna have a primary view controller like right here and we're gonna have a button and that button is just gonna open a new uh, view controller. And I'm gonna show you two different methods how to do this. So. First open up Xcode, um, do file and then new project. And we're gonna make an iOS app. It's, we can call it whatever we want. I'm gonna call it button view controller. Um, select your team, your organizer, identifier. Your interface is gonna be storyboard, language Swift. We can go next, next. All right, so the first thing, and this is programmatic, by the way. So the first thing you need to do with any programmatic UI is you need to go to info. You need to go to main, see right here where you have main storyboard file base name, you need to delete that. Also under here, application scene manifest, you need to open this up until you get to storyboard main, name main, and you're gonna delete that. Also, I'm gonna change this back in general to iOS 13.0, and then project, change, change that to iOS 13.0. And then we can delete our main storyboard. And I'm going to make a new folder with command option N, which is called supporting. And we're just gonna throw everything in there besides the view controller. Okay, so now we need to go into scene delegate and I have some auto completion for this, but you can type it out if you don't have this. So we're just setting uh, the root view controller. So in our view controller, we're gonna say self dot background color or self dot view dot background color equals to system green, just so we know if it's working. We're then gonna set our simulator to whatever we want. I'm doing iOS uh, 13, iPhone 11. And if this is green, then it works and it does. So now let's make a second view controller. So we're gonna go, we're gonna click new file, Coco Touch, and we're just gonna call it second view controller. And in there we can delete all of these comments and I'm just gonna copy this in. We're just gonna set the background color to purple. So back in our view controller, we can set up our button now. So I'll show you how to do this. We're going to make this programmatically. So we're gonna say, we, we could do this an easier way, but let's just do it with good standards. Let's say private let button colon UI button equals curly braces outside of the curly braces do parenthesis. We're gonna say let button equals UI button. Uh, parenthesis and then return button. So this is just making a class level variable. And in this, um, these curly braces, we can set different properties. So if you were to say, like you could say, private let button two is of type UI button, you would have to instantiate it also. You could say that, but the uh, the problem with that is you can't set the variables so it's better to do it this way so we're going to say button dot background color equals dot system blue button dot set title we're going to just say next controller four dot normal and then we're going to say we're also going to give it a corner radius so it's kind of a circle we're going to say button dot layer dot corner radius equals seven. So I have an extra parenthesis there and then button is also spelt wrong. So let's make a function to set up our UI. 
it's a private func setup UI. And let's call that, let's copy and paste the background color into there and then also call it and view it load. So now we're going to say self dot add self dot view dot add sub view button and self dot button dot translates auto resizing mask into constraints equals false. Now we're going to say ns layout constraint. dot activate and we need to pass in square brackets and open that up now we're going to have four properties we're going to so we're going to say button dot center x anchor dot constraint equals to self dot view dot center x anchor and then a comma afterwards and let's copy and paste that and do that for the center Y anchor as well. Okay, now we're gonna set the width anchor. We're gonna say button dot width anchor dot constraint equal to constant. So we can set 200 pixels or whatever it is. And then let's also do that for the height anchor and let's do 44 for the height. So now if we run this, we'll have our button, but it won't be set up. And the reason is we need to add our function for what the button does when clicked. So in the view did load, let's say self dot button dot add target. So the target is going to be self. The action is going to be hashtag selector did tap button. And then four is going to be dot touch up inside. So we're going to take that did tap button and we're going to make it a function. It needs to be uh, prefaced with objective C, the objective C tag. So at objective C, and then we can just make it a normal function. Funk did tap button parenthesis open and close. So what's going to happen, we can print here, button pressed. And whenever we press the button now, this function will be called. Okay, so now that's all set up, um, there's two ways we could do this. One way is that we present the um, view controller, which would be a modal presentation, so it would pop up. The other way is you can push it so that it's in a navigation controller and you have like the back button up here. You'd have a back button. So I'll show you how to do both and you can choose what you want. So we're gonna say, let VC. So the first thing we have to do is instantiate the second view controller class that we made. So we need to make an object of that. So we're gonna say let VC equals second view controller. Okay, so then we can say self.present and we can pass that VC the view controller in. We can choose if we want it animated, true or false. In completion, we're just gonna put nil. And if we run that, it'll already work. So we press next view controller and it pops up. So there's other things you can do here. You can say stuff like vc.modal presentation style equals dot and you can do like full screen but you won't be able to get back from that um, <clears throat> unless you made a button yourself so as you see we can't like bring it down anymore so we're kind of stuck in here so um, our other option is if we want to embed this our uh, view controllers in a UI navigation controller. So if we want to do that, we need to go back into the scene delegate and where we set the root view controller, we need to, let's cut this view controller. Let's say UI navigation controller, root view controller, and then pass in 
the view controller, uh, instantiate an object. So now if we run that, it'll come with a uh, nav at the top. So as you see, there's like a navigation bar up here. So now what we can do is we can say, we can delete this self.present in our view controller class. And we can say, oops. And we can say self.navigationcontroller.push navigate or push view controller. Then we can pass the VC in. Animated is true. And now if we run that, it will work. So now, as you can see, we have our navigation controller. We press next and it lets us go to the next one and we can go back. So that's all I've got for you. If the video helped, then please press like. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave them in the comment section. And if you want more Swift tutorials, then please subscribe. And also, if you need to hire me uh, for freelance work, you can check out my freelance link in the description. So that's all. Thanks.